Now this question is similar to the one which we have solved in the previous video. So here again we'll have p varies from 1 to 16, m varies from p to 16. This is 16 cm and mcp. So again I'll write it as summation p varies from 1 to 16 and summation m varies from p to 16. So I'll write factorial 16, factorial m and then factorial 16 minus m and here will be factorial m, factorial p and then it will be factorial m minus p. So I'll cancel this factorial m and factorial m and I'll take this p here. So I'll write it as summation p varies from 1 to 16, m varies from p to 16. So I'll write factorial 16. I'll take this p with factorial 16 and I want to change it to 16 cp. So I'll multiply and divide it with 16 minus p factorial and then I'll have to multiply with 16 minus p factorial and then it will be m minus p 16 minus factorial m 16 minus m. So I can write it as summation p varies from 1 to 16 m varies from p to 16. So this is 16 c p and it will be 16 minus p c m minus p. Now we have separated m and this term. So now it becomes independent. So I can write it as summation p varies from 1 to 16 and this is 16 cp and then this summation which is the value of m varies from p to 16 and will be 16 minus p c m minus p. So this series is in fact nothing but summation of p varies from 1 to 16, 16 cp and then will be 16 minus p c0, 16 minus p c1 and then 16 minus 16 minus p which is sorry 16 minus p to c 16 minus p so which is nc0 plus ncn so that should be summation p varies from 1 to 16 16 cp and it will be 2 to the power 16 minus p so i'll also write it as 1 to the power p so which is ncr a to the power n minus r into b to the power r but here the summation starts from 1 i need the summation to start from 0 so i'll add one more term and i'll subtract that term also so i'll start with from p equals to 0 to 16 16 cp 2 to the power 16 minus p and then 1 to the power p and because you have added this term when the value of p is 0 so i have to subtract that, that term also so then it will be 16 c0 2 to the power 16 into 1 to the power 0. Now this is nothing but it is binomial expansion of a plus b to the power n and here it will be 2 to the power 16. So answer to this question will be 3 to the power 16 minus 2 to the power 16. So this is how we solve these questions. If you like the video, consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it. Also, the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist. Simply go to the channel page click playlist and select the topic you wish to study.